This is my 2021 year in review for the Toronto real estate market. Hey, I'm Michael Luzes, Realtor with Roll the Page Signature. Let's go over the 2021 stats for the Toronto real estate market. So what went on in the market for 2021? One word to sum it up, records. Record sales, record prices, record low inventory. December numbers came out and even though it was down a month for sales, which we'll get into in a second, 2021 was still a record setting year for the Toronto Real Estate Board. With almost 122,000 sales of all home types, this beats the previous record set in 2016 where just over 113,000 homes were sold. That's almost 10,000 more than the previous record. We saw some months have listing to sales ratios of 70, 80, 90%, which is extremely high. Demand through the end of the year and now into 2022 continues to be extremely strong. Even though we had record high sales, we also had record low numbers of inventory. As of December 31st, we were down to just over 3,200 listings of all combined home types, including condos, townhouses, semi-detached, detached, with that low of a number, the greater Toronto area would sell out of homes of all types in just two weeks. If no other properties came to market, we'd be out of houses in two weeks. That number is crazy. Submarkets like Mississauga, Brampton, Durham all had inventory numbers where they were down to like less than two weeks, almost 10 days, which is wild, unimaginable. My guess is that if there were more homes available on the market, 2021 would have eaten them up and buyers are still in the hunt right now, two weeks into the new year with some houses I've seen getting over 150 showings in less than five days. Low supply, extremely high demand, low interest rates, buyers who are still at the table trying to get in. We usually get pointed into one direction when all this happens all-time high average selling prices. Last year, we hit almost 1.1 million across the board for all home types, which is about 18% higher than the previous record of 2020, which was 930,000. Through December, we even saw that price creep up to 1.15 million. It still seems to be trending upwards as of right now. The condo market rebounded incredibly well in the GTA and especially in the downtown core after a pretty dismal 2020, which saw prices actually trend downwards about 12% to a low in January 2021. At that point, there were about five months of inventory of all condos available. Sellers literally couldn't give them away. Once Toronto started opening, the floodgates opened as well. Right now, we're down to about three weeks of inventory for condos in the GTA. As I stated in my 2022 prediction video, I think this is going to be the year of the condo. I really believe that there is not much inventory for first-time buyers, investors. That's kind of where that entry point of pricing comes in and I think condos will be the solution for those type of buyers. If you haven't checked out that 2022 prediction video, go check that out next. As always, if you're interested in more real estate content like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on all the socials at Michael Loses Real Estate.